Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone on Windows 11. Uh, I know in uh, the previous video I did on this, um, I was filming on Windows 10, so I decided to make an updated tutorial um, for those of you that are using for Windows 11 users. Uh, now, when starting the game, um, you might see this error pop up if you're using Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 10, or Windows 11. Um, it'll say, please log in with admin privileges and try again. This is something that you're going to see um, on newer versions of Windows, mostly because uh, it's a DRM-related issue, so you're not going to see this on any version of Windows, of Windows 7, or uh, anything older than that. Um, so I'll show you guys how to correct that um, so that you can get the game started. But first we will go into the documents folder, Harry Potter. We'll click on HP, that INI, which I already have open. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, go to the minimum desired frame rate. Um, and I have it set to under uh, Win DRV Windows Client uh, minimum desired frame rate equals 60. Um, there's also another entry here under XDRV. Um, so we'll kind of like disregard that one. Because um, the one we want to focus on is Win DRV. So we will change minimum desired frame rate to whatever frame rate that um, it works with your which whichever one applies to your PC. So for me, it would be 60 frames. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is change the. Um, Precache So that should be under this section here. There it goes. Um, use precache equals false. By default, this is gonna say true. You're gonna want to change this to false. This will fix a lot of texture uh, issues um, with the game. So you're gonna want to make sure that's set to false. Um, and um, you can use um, I'm gonna have uh, this folder that I have here it's got a bunch of different things in it um, I'm going to share with you guys um, I'm gonna show you guys how to get 4k resolution um, set up so what we will do is we will change the um, We'll go back up to this section here, when DRV Windows Client, and we will change the full screen resolution to um, to um, full screen to 4K resolution. Um, so what we will do is for 4K, you're going to want to change the full screen resolution to. Uh, 3840 by 2160 so 3840 2160 and full screen color bits will be set should be set to 32 so you're gonna want that on 32 bit um, and we will go ahead and save and you're also gonna want to go into Harry Potter again and to user.ini which I already have open so we'll just switch to that you're going to want to scroll down to the engine that player pawn section um, and you're going to want to go to where it says desired field of view um, and there's also a default line so you're going to want to change the desired field of view to whichever applies to your PC 
I have it set to 100.39. Um, so you can set it to either 106.26 or if you have a 1610, 16 by 10 display. Um, if you have 1610 display, you can change it to 100.39, which is what I have mine set to. Um, so we will go ahead and save that. And that should be it there. So if we will go back into, you can close that out, go back into the system folder here where our game is. Um, what we will do now, um, we will go to my folder here. You're going to want to apply the no CD patch that will override that error message that popped up earlier. Continue and the game should start now. Um, but one other thing I want to do is we will. I have um, a mod here that changes the storybook pictures. So when you start the game, it will have color. So we can go ahead and apply that if you want to use that. That's going to be in this folder that I'm going to um, to upload. Um, and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, that's the one with... So I have two different variations of the widescreen mod here. One with the HP2 movement system, the other one with the st um, stock movement. Um, so I think what we will do is we will just for the video, I will take these two both out and copy and paste both of those into the system folder. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and start the game. The game should launch. Prevented an unrecognized app. Got more info run anyway. Okay, yeah, that resolution definitely is not going to work with my computer. Um, so I think what we will do is we will go ahead and change that back to, let's see what is my resolution, 1920 by 1080, okay. So let me see, HP I and I, we will change that to 1920, I believe that's what that said. Yep, okay. So we will change that and we will start the game again. There we go. So the game should be running now. So as you can see, we are at the main menu. Um, go into level select. Yeah, resolution is 1920, 32-bit. Okay, so everything looks correct. Go to level select. There was nothing about entrance, the story and that the night. storybook pages are now they now have color to them. Would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, the giant named Hagrid, Harry Potter. For the next eleven years, Harry lived with until that fateful Let's day. Let's get through this really quick, Hagrid just so we can go in game, just to Soon make sure after, that Harry the game the looks correct. Star. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat. Not Slytherin, eh? You could be great. It's all he had known. Well, if you're sure, the Gryffindor. So far everything looks good, the game looks sharp.
Welcome to Hogwarts. No, Hogwarts. Only the smart bit, alas. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. So this is what your game should look like. Um, so the settings that we applied in HPI and I and user I and I have taken effect. So you are now ready to play uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned, there's more coming.